Hey guys, so a couple of weeks ago I did a video on some knee strengthening exercises um, and a few people have left some comments, sent me some messages saying that they enjoyed the video and they'd like to see a few more. So today I've got some more knee strengthening exercises and exercises to help um, with some knee pain. So I hope you enjoy. Right, so the first exercise I've got for you is a single legged uh, box squat. Now, I've got my little soft box here. You can use a chair or use whatever you have to your disposal. So if it's a kitchen table or uh, well, more like a coffee table, coffee table chair, uh, you can even do it from the stairs, okay? But yeah, it's a single legged box squat. So what you do is you want your heels a couple of inches away from the box. You want your spine nice and straight, your hips to your pelvis tucked in, so you're in a nice straight line. And all you're going to do is you're going to lift one leg up, whether it's your right or your left. So I'm going to lift my left leg up and then I'm going to slowly sit down onto the box, keeping the back up straight, don't lean forward, and then stand back up. Now you can lock your knee out at the top if you want. If you don't want to lock your knee out, you can do a little pump. So it's quicker, it keeps the muscle under tension for longer. Um, if you find your balance is a bit off, it, you might find it easier to lock your leg out at the top. And then sit back down slowly, back up, and back down. Um, you, you know, it doesn't matter if the other leg touches the floor as you're coming up and your balance isn't that great. It's not the end of the world. Um, but what you want to do is about three sets of 12 to 15 on each leg. You want about a minute rest in between each set. So for the next exercise I've got, you need to move the box out of the way and you're going to need a band. Now, there's loads of different types of bands that come in all different uh, resistance levels. Now, what I've got here is a little bag of bands that I bought from, I think it was eBay or Amazon, and they're just different colour bands and they're all different resistance levels. So the pink one is extremely light, black one fairly heavy. Uh, so for the purposes of exercise, I'm going to go for a red one, which is a sort of intermediate strength. I mean, compared to the the, the booty bands, you know, the, the thicker fabric ones that you see a lot of people working with uh, glute exercises for, uh, with, the, these are fairly light. However, for the purposes of the exercise, they're good. So, gonna, with these ones I've got as well, they're rubber, so they can they can roll a little bit and pinch so sometimes you know you can see it rolling there already um, these sort of bands are often worn better around leggings or shorts or tracksuit anyway this one is just a banded squat and what you're going to do is you're going to have your feet hip width apart so wider than hip width apart and what you're going to do is as you bend down and do your squat you're pushing your knees out so it's strengthening your glutes as well as all the muscles in your legs. So all you're going to do is push your legs out. This is good to help anyone that's got, um, I don't know the official term for it, but like knock knees. So when your knees go in a bit as you squat down, you stick a band around just above the kneecap. Okay, and it forces you to concentrate on keeping the knees slightly outwards. Not dead straight, but very slightly outwards. And only, uh, you, you only need to squat down until your thighs are parallel to the ground. And again, with these, you want about three sets of 15. I don't lock my knees out at the top of these. Okay, and that's that. So for this next exercise, as you can see, I've got a nice bright pink band around my ankles. This one is a slightly lighter, well, it's a lot lighter resistance to the ones I use for the banded squat, okay? So this is just a banded lateral step. Now, you don't need to use the hip hinge movement and stick your glutes out for this one. It's a very, very soft bend in your knees, only very slightly, and you keep your shoulders and your back up straight, chest out proud as they call it, and all you're gonna do is step to the side. Now with the glute activation, you stick your bum out a bit more, your hips go back, and there's more of a bend in your knees. And you step like that. With this one, it is a literal, lateral side step so you just step step nice and easy nice and simple so you do again three sets of 12 to 15 each way so i'll go one two 
three. One, two, three, and keep going until I've done 12 each side. Okay, and that's that one. So this next one I got, it's you can use uh, you can use a box again, you can use a step, you can use a chair. A chair with legs is the best one for this one. Um, if, even if you're on like a step or a box, you can still do it with your other the band around both your feet. Now this is just uh, a leg extension, so all you're doing is raising one leg up at a time and contracting it. Now, if you're using, say if you're on a, a jumping box like I was, or a step so there's no legs, you simply put the band around both ankles, okay, and you just raise one up, contract it, and back down. If you're using a chair leg, all you do is stick the band around the chair leg and the same thing. Raise it up, contract it. The band will ride up sometimes. I mean, like these, they're, they're not fantastic bands, the ones I've got. Um, but yeah, all you do is raise, contract, squeeze, and back down. Again, uh, three sets of 15 on each leg. So final one, this one again involves lying on the ground. So this is a lying hip extension. So you're going to have the band in your hand this time and you're going to have it around the base of one of your feet. You're going to lie flat. The knee is going to be up level with the hip and you're going to push down. Okay, they don't, the feet don't need to come level next to each other. So you're going to hold it. You're going to push down, make sure you've got a good solid band for this one. And again, you can lock the knee out at the bottom if you like. You don't have to. And there you have it. And then with these ones, it's uh, the same as most of the other ones. It's three sets of uh, 12 to 15. So this next one I've got for you involves lying on the floor. Again, I've picked a fairly light resistance band. Now this is a lying knee extension. So, the band goes around the feet, not the ankles. The legs go flat. You lie flat on the ground, and what you do is you raise one knee up at a time. Don't relax the toes too much because you don't want the band to fall off, so keep your feet pointed upwards as you're coming up with each leg and you do about three sets of 12 on each leg again with about a minute rest in between so there are loads of knee strengthening exercises out there knee mobility exercises these are just uh, you know a small sample um, but I would recommend if, if you're suffering from knee discomfort knee pain um, give these a try along with maybe my other video because I think there's another five or six in the other video but try them at least three times a week um, I mean dep it depends what's causing your knee pain and how bad it is I myself have to do knee and leg work like foam rolling gunning um, I, you know I use a little tennis ball to roll and I have to do some of these exercises I, I need to do mine on a daily basis to keep my knee in check um, but have a go like do them three four times a week um, let us know what you think, let us know how you find it, if you found them helpful. Um, and let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see, or there's, uh, you know, if you want to see more knee exercises, that maybe like adductor or abductor exercises, or hip strengthening exercises, anything like that, let us know, leave it in the comments, and thank you for watching.